right now we're going to create the controllers for all the other models that we need um, what we're going to do is to look at be looking at our model we've created company let us create one for um, comments maybe um, one for company one for comments comments and then we call it comments controller comments controller comments controller then we hit and enter we do the same thing for our project we've done for companies we do for project project that's the name of the model then we give it a project here projects we do the same thing for our uh, role the model name is role we will look at roles and that does it for us then we look at task the model name is task and we will call it tasks here. Task. and finally um, looking at what we have here we're gonna have to make one for users so oops there is an error there is a task okay I'll try and find out why this error occurred but let us quickly create that of user user users okay um i'll try and find out why why this occurred but let us just look at our controllers already just to be sure that all our controllers were created so if we go up here we'll see that um we have already these controllers created inside the controller folder let me try one more time to create task controller and uh, if i go up See tasks controller resource. I wouldn't know why it's tossing this error. The only possible culprit could be the task itself because um, from here we can see that it's trying to connect to the model. And if it's throwing this error, probably there's an error in the model. So let us go to our code and uh, scroll to the task model. And I'm looking for a curly bracelet that was not closed. And uh, there, um, we have extra one here, so that's why it was seeing that error. So if I remove it, um, my code works perfectly. So I can now create tasks model. One more time, task enter, and it works perfectly. So we've now created all our models and our controllers. If there is, if we get to a point that we need any of these, we'll just create them straight away. All right. So, but these are the main ones I think we should start with. Now we've created these controllers and we've created their, their routes. I think what, what we can do is now to go ahead and start creating, creating the view, all right? But before we create the view, we can start looking at um, building out the controller. For instance, we can build out the, the company's controller. So once we, once we write the code that needs to be here, we can start working towards... Um, the rest of the, the the application all right so um in the next video i uh, will start writing actual codes here to make sure that we retrieve uh, the list of uh, list of our model uh, companies in our database and here we'll enable the the application to create a new um, data in our database and this one is to save and so on and so forth all right so see you in the next video.